Lyme disease was first identified in the early 1970s in Lyme, Connecticut, USA. The disease got its name from this location. This discovery followed an unusual outbreak of rheumatoid arthritis symptoms among children in Lyme and two neighboring towns. It was initially mistaken for juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. A team of researchers led by Dr. Alan Steer investigated the outbreak and identified Lyme disease as a distinct clinical entity in 1975. The causative agent, the spirochete bacterium Borrelia burgdorferi, was discovered in 1981 by Dr. Willy Burgdorfer, after whom the bacterium is named. Lyme disease infection follows a distinct process, beginning when an infected black-legged tick, often in its nymph stage, attaches to the skin of a human. These ticks, known as deer ticks, Ixodes scapularis, in the United States and Ixodes ricanus in Europe, are typically small and can be hard to notice. The tick must usually remain attached for 36 to 48 hours or more before it can transmit the Lyme disease bacterium, Borrelia burgdorferi. During the feeding process, if the tick is carrying Borrelia burgdorferi, it transmits the bacteria into the host's bloodstream. Once the bacteria enter the bloodstream, they can spread throughout the body. This dissemination can lead to various symptoms, some of which may not appear until weeks after the tick bite. The body's immune system responds to the infection, contributing to the symptoms of Lyme disease. Early symptoms often include a distinctive bull's eye rash known as erythema migrans, fever, headache, and fatigue. If not treated promptly with appropriate antibiotics, the infection can spread to other parts of the body, including the joints, heart, and nervous system. Prevention of Lyme disease focuses on avoiding tick bites. This involves using tick repellents, wearing protective clothing, and conducting thorough tick checks after being in areas where ticks are prevalent. Prompt removal of ticks and appropriate medical attention are crucial in preventing the disease or reducing its severity. Lyme disease infection follows a distinct process, beginning when an infected black-legged tick, often in its nymph stage, attaches to the skin of a human. These ticks, known as deer ticks, Ixodes scapularis, in the United States and Ixodes ricanus in Europe, are typically small and can be hard to notice. The tick must usually remain attached for 36 to 48 hours or more before it can transmit the Lyme disease bacterium, Borrelia burgdorferi. During the feeding process, if the tick is carrying Borrelia burgdorferi, it transmits the bacteria into the host's bloodstream. Once the bacteria enter the bloodstream, they can spread throughout the body. This dissemination can lead to various symptoms, some of which may not appear until weeks after the tick bite. The body's immune system responds to the infection, contributing to the symptoms of Lyme disease. Early symptoms often include a distinctive bull's eye rash known as erythema migrans, fever, headache, and fatigue. If not treated promptly with appropriate antibiotics, the infection can spread to other parts of the body, including the joints, heart, and nervous system. Prevention of Lyme disease focuses on avoiding tick bites. This involves using tick repellents, wearing protective clothing, and conducting thorough tick checks after being in areas where ticks are prevalent. Prompt removal of ticks and appropriate medical attention are crucial in preventing the disease or reducing its severity. Lyme disease symptoms can vary widely and often develop in stages, although not all patients go through every stage. Initially, within days to weeks after a tick bite, many individuals develop a characteristic circular, bull's eye, rash at the site of the bite, known as erythema migrans. This rash, which appears in 70-80% of infected individuals, may expand over days, forming a large round rash. Accompanying flu-like symptoms are common, including fever, chills, fatigue, body aches, headache, neck stiffness, and swollen lymph nodes. As the disease progresses, symptoms can spread to other systems of the body. Neurological symptoms such as facial palsy, which involves the loss of muscle tone on one or both sides of the face, and meningitis-like symptoms, including severe headache, neck stiffness, and light sensitivity, may occur. In some cases, Lyme disease can affect the heart, leading to Lyme carditis, characterized by palpitations, chest pain, or shortness of breath. Additional smaller rashes may also appear on different parts of the body. If not treated promptly, Lyme disease can enter a late disseminated stage, which can occur months to years after the bite. 
This stage is marked by more severe symptoms, such as arthritis with severe joint pain and swelling, particularly in the knees and other large joints. Neurological complications can become more pronounced, including memory problems, difficulty concentrating, and changes in mood or sleep habits. In some cases, symptoms like fatigue, muscle and joint pain, and neurological issues can become chronic, persisting even after treatment. It's critical to seek medical attention if Lyme disease is suspected, as early treatment with antibiotics is key to preventing the progression of the disease and avoiding long-term complications. The treatment of Lyme disease is primarily centered around the use of antibiotics, with the approach varying based on the stage and severity of the infection. For early-stage Lyme disease, particularly when the characteristic erythema migrans rash is present, oral antibiotics such as doxycycline, amoxicillin, or cefurazime are commonly prescribed. The course of treatment typically lasts from 10 to 21 days. Doxycycline is often the first choice for adults and children over 8, while amoxicillin or cefurazime are preferred for younger children, pregnant, or breastfeeding women. In cases where Lyme disease has disseminated or progressed to involve the nervous system or heart, intravenous antibiotics may be necessary. Ceftriaxone is frequently used in these situations. The duration of this treatment can extend to 14 to 28 days, tailored to the severity and specific symptoms. Some patients may experience persistent symptoms like fatigue, pain, or joint and muscle aches even after completing antibiotic treatment. This condition is known as post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome, PTLDS, or chronic Lyme disease. The optimal treatment for PTLDS is still a topic of ongoing research and debate. Long-term antibiotic therapy has generally not shown effectiveness and can lead to serious side effects. Therefore, the focus often shifts to symptomatic treatment to manage pain and discomfort, along with supportive therapies like physical therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, and other strategies to help manage symptoms. It's critical for Lyme disease treatment to be overseen by a healthcare professional with knowledge of the disease. Early diagnosis and prompt intervention are key to preventing the disease from progressing and minimizing the risk of long-term complications. Alongside treatment, preventive measures against tick bites play a crucial role in managing the risk of Lyme disease.